This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Last night with the Mavs dinner party, there were a lot of accusations being thrown out there. Timothy went hard on Jack, saying that oh. he was still talking to his yeah. he was talking to his ex Courtney while he was with Tori on the show, and then Lauren jumped in and said, "Yes, there was a moment where I saw him on the phone, and he was on to his ex, and there was a lot of stuff well, going on that the, they were yeah. throwing out there." I feel like we need to talk to Jack about. Well, this. the other thing was it. We got a whole lot of phone calls once we played this audio before with people going, oh, my God, you can't talk about that. But, you know, it was kind of out there last night, and Tim also said that Jack hooked up with Tori and his ex in the same day. Okay, During so the home visits. I, you know what? They're throwing these accusations out there, but I think we, we're we going to try to ring Jack one last time. We tried him before, and he didn't pick up. I left a message as Lucinda. Good morning. Jack, it's Fitzy and Whipper with Kate. How are you, buddy? Hey, buddy. How are you? That hey, was, Jack. I'm sorry about the Lucinda voice message that I left before. That was me if you didn't pick that up. <laughs> Jack. Um, you feel silly I'll, now, uh, don't I'll, you? I'll, I'll forgive you guys. So what do I owe the pleasure? Hey, thanks for thanks for um, picking up the phone, buddy. We really, we really appreciate it. And first things first, we missed you last night. We wanted you at our dinner party that we hosted. Yeah, I was saying to Tori, I wonder what they're going to talk about without us there, and maybe they'll talk about us anyway. So. Yeah. Well, they did. So, so the did. reason you weren't there, for anyone out there, Tori has just started a new job, so she couldn't get out of work. And, Jack, I can understand you didn't want to be there without your partner, Tori. But, mate, last night it kicked off, and there was a few ac- accusations being thrown around. Now, Jack, we're going to play you some audio now. This is coming from Timothy, and then Lauren jumps in as well. So have a listen to this Jack watch the show but he's full of Ooh. from head to toe okay tune in What's guys he done? Jack Tim say it. say it say it say it what's Jack doing he's doing everybody oh. what do you mean are you pointing fingers Timothy <laughs> tell the story just oh, say it this is what this what is every, happening everyone's going to find out what anyways what has happened Oh, is this going to be on the show? No. No. Tim, this is outside the show. Is it an ex, Tim? It's an ex. Right. And w- w- was this happening during filming or just after? Yes, the- during. <laughs> oh, seriously. Um, when, when, when Jack gave Tori the bracelet. No, no, let him play oh. it. <laughs> Okay. No, because because there was one situation I remember coming out in the lifts and I remember Jack was sitting on the chair and he was like having this conversation, this deep conversation. And he looked at me and he looked really uncomfortable and I was like, my gut just said, I bet you anything he's on the phone to this girl. Like, I just knew. Yeah, and, and she Courtney. was. So, and she conf- she confirmed that. So that's all I have to say. Put your hands together for the contestants from the Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Timmy. Whoa. My God, bombshell. So um, so the, the accusation has been, Jack, that you have been talking to your ex, Courtney, while you're on the show, and Courtney's got in contact with Timothy and, and confirmed this, Jack. Oh, my biggest fans, Lauren and Timothy. That was, uh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I think they've been reading a little bit too many articles online. However, what I can confirm... Look, we got a we got a challenge from Timothy and Lucinda to call the ex whilst we're on the show, and my response to that was, Tori and I in our own time post filming will get in contact. I will, yep. with Tori's blessing, mm. and I'll let her know that she has been a part of the show. She was a feature. We had to, you know, have that discussion. I was, you know, asked a lot of questions. So I, out of respect, I had a few things I wanted to get in touch with Courtney about. One was to say sorry that we had discussed her on the show. Yep. Yep. Even though it was, you know, herself that implicated her through the media to start with. Um, I wanted to validate the situation that we did have for three months prior to the show. Yes. And I wanted to check in, make sure she was okay, yep. and let her know that there was nothing you know, potential for us in the future and I wanted her to know the door was shut and for her to, you know, move on and take care of herself. And I did do that with Tori's blessing. That was post-show. Okay. Jack, can you answer this for me? Because the other thing that was flying around as Timmy continued to talk last night was that you hooked up with Courtney during the home visits and, in fact, you hooked up with Courtney and Tori in the same day. <laughs> 
I think um, I think there is that much coming out of that guy's mouth. Um, I don't know what to believe. I mean, if you do read the reports, me and Tori were inseparable during filming, obviously during home stays. Yep. I don't know where you'd find the time. Like, you don't have time to call your mother and say, how you going, let alone go and do the sneakies. So I can definitely no say sneakies. that that is not true. No has sneakies, it, has, So it, your relationship with Courtney now has gone sour after you made that call on the show saying that we're going to discuss you and it's over. Did she... Do you, do you know... Did she get in contact with Timothy, though, Courtney? I don't know D- that one for a fact, but post-show... Yep. I do recall Courtney sending me the messages that Timothy was sending her. He was trying to get in contact with Courtney prior to the mass reunion. Yes. And she she was actually a little bit unimpressed. She was asking me to ask Timothy to stop harassing her. He was apparently viewing her stories, which are pretty colourful. Yep. And he was trying to get in contact with her. And she said something along the lines of, who is this fat creep stalking my Instagram? And I, she sent it to me, and it was good mate Timothy. So I did. Oh. I brought it up at the. I brought it up at reunion. Yep. And I asked him, you know, to stop following her, stop viewing her stories, and stop reaching out. That's oh. what she asked me to do. Oh do you know my what? goodness! Can, can I just ask one quick question? And I'm not sure if you can speak on behalf of her, Jack. But how's Tori holding up through all of this? Because you know, everyone doubting your relationship and your fidelity can't be too easy. Now, look, we've been through it. I think um, you know the, the show was filmed a long time ago now, and that was episode one where we had to answer the questions and speak about the ex so I guess it's part and parcel now but yeah it's definitely getting a little bit old but again it's coming from the same people I mean Mm. I wouldn't trust a thing that comes out of Timothy's mouth and you know Lauren likes to spin a story as well and that's what they're going to continue to do Mm. so that's on them and you know we're happy during the filming you didn't hook up with Courtney once Absolutely not. I think we need to get a boxing ring and we put Timmy no. in there and we put Jack in there. For charity. And we no. can cut Jaden's hair no, on the same day. Cut Jaden's hair. That. It um, doesn't come down that at all. Jack, we appreciate your time, mate. I yeah. know you couldn't make it last night, but thanks for picking up the phone. Yeah, thank you for speaking so well, Jack. No problem, guys. Thank you. Fitz in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.